Ooh. I feel like I'm waxing. <laughs> if you succeed with that, you move on to the door. Some ASMR right there. I can already tell you. It looks like paint. It's it thick. really does. It's I love this film. And luckily Cybertruck is magnetic. I love this red. It reminds me so much of the signature red that kind of started it all. You just want to take a bite out of it. Today we're going to be testing my DIY skills as I wrap this Cybertruck. Let's do it. Over the course of a few weeks, we made several trips to T-Sportline as they wrapped Cybertruck after Cybertruck. Our shop is full of 11 trucks right now, having us install vinyl or PDF. Yeah. To date, T-Sportline has wrapped over 100 Cybertrucks, likely more than anyone else in the world. From your standard color change vinyl. This is the most popular vinyl film. It just goes Try there. scuffing it a little bit. Okay. Oh. That's the mirror. Do you have to take the mirrors off in order to do the wrap? In our world, yes, because we want the wrap to be done right. To thicker paint protection film that can self-heal. Kind of have to stretch it, but it definitely still goes through there, so. Now that would not self-heal. Self-healing PPF, people think it's gonna be magic, and it, it's going to self-heal for minor scratches and scuffs. Okay, but what if I just like scratched it like that? That'll probably self-heal. Stays in the sun, give it a few days, that'll self-heal. Today I'll try out their Cybertruck DIY wrap kit, which has been pre-cut to the exact dimensions of the 12 panels of the Cybertruck, giving you paint-like quality, but thicker and more protected than your standard vinyl wrap. The Anosatec film is known for looking more like paint because it's a thicker. Oh yeah, it does feel thicker. So like my Model S is fully wrapped vinyl, with a frontal PPF yeah. over the vinyl. And the best part is you can install it yourself in a weekend for about $5,000 less than what Tesla charges for its wraps. The Cybertruck is so flat that it makes it really conducive to DIY wrapping and PPF. If it was curvy like a regular Tesla, much more challenging to put any film on. This is like if Tesla was making film, this is what I would expect it to look like. This is nicely CNC cut. We didn't have to do that. We could have just made this a straight cut underneath the cladding, but we have the full laser scan of the Cybertruck, so why not have that attention to detail? How hard is it for people to be able to pull those pieces apart? We go through step by step how to pull the cladding off, how to take the fasteners out, how to disconnect the clips underneath, how to properly disconnect and reconnect your camera. So even after it's been cleaned, you can almost still see it's a constant state of fingerprint with the Cybertruck. I will say that is one of the reasons why I think a lot of people will want to do something, whether they're doing like a clear PPF on here or just wrapping it in a color change material. And I love the way the stainless looks, but it's impossible to keep the fingerprints off. Thank you to 3W Liners for sponsoring this portion of the video. So we already have these in our Model 3 and today I'm gonna to be installing them into our Model X. They were such a big hit when they came out. They actually won the Red Dot Award, which is an award for quality and design. You get a floor mat for just about every surface area of your car, driver's side. Passenger side liner, rear seats, and it's completely custom fit. I love that they're made from TPE material, so there's no toxic smell and they're perfect for all seasons. We have one for the trunk wall and the top shelf too. Of course, we didn't forget the frunk. And they're designed to withstand extreme temperatures, both in heat and cold, so there's no worry of them cracking over time. To get yours, check out the link in the description down below, and you can use the code KIMJAVA to get 20% off 3W's site, or you can use code 15KIMJAVA if you're buying off Amazon. And when you click that link, you're also helping to support this channel. All right, let's get back to the video. It's kind of funny because I feel like on all the other Teslas, I really am like, oh, let's make it satin. Let's give it a stealth sort of finish. But then on Cybertruck, I like the gloss finish because it's like the opposite. What's unique about this Cybertruck DIY kit is that for $25, T-Sportline actually sends you a mini kit to test your DIY skills yourself. I feel like I'm waxing. <laughs> and if you choose to tackle the entire truck yourself, it's credited onto the price of a full kit. And what does the entire kit cost if you did your DIY? So the DIY kits start at $13.99. Okay. And then depending on film and options, they can go a little bit up from there. 
That's yeah. DIY. If you come to us and have us install it, $2,500 and up, yeah. depending on film. And then Tesla, with their option, is $6,500. So you can see that there's a lot of savings if you did do a DIY. Each of the 12 panels are laser scanned and precision cut into DIY friendly vinyl or PPF kits, delivering with all the installation supplies you'll need. Theoretically, it should be the easiest car or truck that Tesla's ever made to do a DIY wrap for. Since the truck has already been mostly wrapped, I tried my hands at the practice kit, which comes with parts of two panels for you to get a feel for wrapping the Cybertruck. The gloss PPF practice kit. Okay. Comes like this. You can put PPF over wrap, no problem. Okay. So whether this was raw stainless or wrapped, makes no difference with what you're gonna do with the PPF. This would be washed and ready to go. And then I'll hold this. You can open up that right. kit. PPF is a little bit harder. I've tried to do like a, a small piece before. On a flat surface, let's just see what you think. I think PPF's easier. Once you get comfortable with the squeegee in the water, the second piece, the door piece is a little more challenging and it's the whole top of the door. Go to town on it. It's much, yeah, soak it up. Grab any corner of the PPF and start peeling it back. Right in here. Drop that down. Get your edges close. See how the film moves around like this? That's mm -hmm. exactly what you want. If the film doesn't do that, you don't have enough of this. You want to line up this edge and these two edges. So slide it in. Our PPF kits are cut to be perfect edge to edge. Since the Cybertruck has sharp laser cut edges, we go right up to the edge with the PPF. There's no reason to roll over. You did a pretty good job there. Yeah. Look at that. Once you've tacked these edges up here, you're, it's not going anywhere. We're not gonna get the bubbles out. Even a little less force, it doesn't take a lot of force. If you had trouble with the alignment, you can just grab this and pull it back up and spray more over it um, and then squeegee it back out. You did a great job, but you got a feel for the squeegee, yes. laying it out. Now we move on to, if you succeed with that, you move on to the door because now we're <laughs> gonna pull the door trim off. It's the same idea. We're gonna soak this down, put the film on. You're gonna line up these edges and okay. that's about as complicated as it gets on the Cybertruck. Like this panel up here couldn't be easier, just a flat straight piece. Mm -hmm. You gotta squeegee over the edge, but that's it. It's not, this is not difficult stuff. Okay. Come back here, fingers, and just pry this. The I hold this stuff. with my knee and just pry this back. Okay, so I don't wanna do this. Start here. I'm gonna do this one myself. <laughs> and you do it here, then you work your way. Like, okay. All right. He's like, please don't break my brand, you, brand okay. new truck. A little more, one more. There, there it is. All right, now just pick it up. Throw it in the back seat. So look up here, see these fingerprints already? Like that's what you get with no PPF or no vinyl wrap. And that's that, just from me. That's literally from the oils on your finger. It's just like a fridge. It'll be interesting to see Cybertrucks like 10 years from now and the ones that they didn't do anything on. Yeah. Maybe the patina like look the, will the be cool. The patina will be there. When you graduate to the real kit, we, we send you a full size, which makes it a, a lot, lot, a lot faster, faster, easier, yeah. Uh -huh. Work out your basic wrinkles. Just getting the corners lined up and the edges is the bulk of this install. So which one do you think is faster, the PPF or vinyl? The word of caution I would say is for either type of film, speed should not be the goal because <laughs> you want to take your time and do as good a job as you can. You did a really nice job though. So look at this game. Once it's down, you can kind of pull it. Like, I'm just using yeah. the force of my fingers to pull that corner. And the film will stretch a little bit. It's gonna change when we squeegee it, but you did a really nice okay. job. These edges look good over here. Let's start right here in the middle. Squeegee this back. In the middle? Yep. Not on the side. When you squeegee out, it may stretch a little bit either way. Is it okay for the soap to be like? Yeah, soap won't hurt anything. A little less force. You don't need a lot oh. of force. It should just glide right over it. If you pull it too hard, you can actually pull the film with the squeegee. Or oh, really? worse, Or worse, scratch it, yeah. Within about 15 minutes for each of these test panels, I found myself getting a pretty good feel for the wet install process of the PPF. So it was time to try the dry install of the color change vinyl. You've got the feel for now yeah. how to line it up and get it on. Do you have to do any kind of heat over it? Or Not that's on PPF, that it just no. dries? Put it out in the sun and it may show a little bubble here or there, but you can usually just squeegee that out. But there's no heat on, on 
the PPF. I think you could do the car in a weekend. Like if oh, you spent yeah, like, you, you know, a half a day cleaning it really, really well. Our videos go into like five times the depth of detail. Like, mm -hmm. but that's about the complexity of putting PPF on. Now, if this was a car and you had curves, mm -hmm. you would be stretching and shrinking the film, which is an entirely different level of complexity. Look at the difference here where like the water droplets just on the stainless steel versus the PPF. You can tell right there why putting a PPF on the vehicle, even if you love the way stainless looks, really makes a difference and will help protect it and just looks better. Now I have to take it off though. Peel it off. All my hard work. If yeah. this dried for a day, it'll be like glue. It won't be easy to peel off. Right yeah. now, it's still wet, so it'll peel right off. Okay. You can peel it off, but not this easily in a day. So right now, so we're gonna skip to the good part and do the real one with the red. But for this one, we have to make sure it's cleaned. Super clean. This is the last panel on this truck, and this is for real. So we <laughs> want this one to be like perfect. So we spend a lot of time cleaning. In our kit, we we give you a clay bar which you use to micro polish the surface and that's gonna get rid of fingerprints, road grime. We've done that already before you did your, your practice PPF. Okay, so no more touching the surface because now okay. it's just film time. <laughs> you have to really scrub down this back edge. It's a rough surface back here. You can take a look at it where it's all welded. Not a real smooth surface. So the rougher the surface, the harder it is to get vinyl or PPF to stick. So we spend a lot of time with the alcohol really scrubbing this edge because when we roll the film we want to have an excellent adhesion on this back side so would you recommend if people want to do this kind of get everything ahead of time or at least get the sample kit ahead of time so that as soon as you get your truck you can try it out not to worry about it i would yeah i'd be ready to roll because the more you drive it without it being you know, covered with vinyl or PPF, the more time it's gonna take to prep it. Mm -hmm. But I wanna cover this door so that when the, the vinyl edge touches this, it doesn't stick to the red. Because the vinyl, remember, it overlaps the door a little bit so you can mm -hmm. roll over the edge. Kind of like when you're going to go paint and you have to do your painter's tape on the edge. For someone like me, a novice at wrapping, I'd estimate each panel of film could take somewhere between 30 minutes to an hour to apply. So with 12 pre-cut panels to install, you could see how this could be done in the course of a weekend if you've already spent some time to properly prep and clean the truck first. I also found it to actually be pretty therapeutic and fun and a rewarding process altogether. So it's all nice and sealed and clean and... Sealed for a reason because there's some static cling on film and we don't want it picking up dust and dirt. Not even set it down, we're gonna... Well, we are gonna take a thumbnail picture, so... Okay. <laughs> I will uh, be very careful, I promise you. She's like looking, he's just cringing <laughs> over here. What is she doing? kit comes with magnets like this and luckily Cybertruck is magnetic. Most important part after cleaning is going to be getting this lined up properly. I like to trim this close up here when we're lining up just so I'm not fighting the backing material. All of the Nosetech film thick like this or yes. just this color? All of it? No. Okay. No, the film is thick. But the 3M is like thinner, it's stretchier. The 3M different. is thinner and stretchier, yes. There's pros and cons on the install. When we put this on, there's gonna be almost no bubbles. Mm -hmm. When you put the 3M on, you're gonna have bubbles and stuff. So it, it's just the difference in the way the okay. film, that the 3M is a cast film. Between the magnets and the tape, it's locked in place. Magnets, if they were up here, we need to move them below the hinge point. Let's give it a go. Okay. All right, so grab that back edge. Roll it to like there. All right. All right. Now, let's pull the backing off. It's definitely easier with two people. I mean, you can do this by yourself, but if you have a friend that can hold it, like you and I are holding yeah. each side of the film, it definitely makes it easier. Okay. Try not to let it touch up here until we squeegee to it, okay. but we're gonna come down here. We're gonna start right in the middle. And this one is cool, it just feels good. It's like a thick, 
it's like satisfying. Okay, so Kim, You're bring kidding. your squeegee in over. Start right here in the middle. Start slowly working out your way. Okay. Then you want to go slow and light on this. Now, does this breathe the same way the 3M breathes? It is air release, but it's not as fast. We will inevitably get to a bubble. Wow, you did a great job. I, I'm looking at an angle here, so I don't see any bubbles on your side. You can tell, see how it's less, like it's thicker, so it doesn't really bubble like the 3M film mm -hmm. does? Yeah. Okay, now the key to this one is we're just gonna push it like a half inch over. You probably don't even have to hold the film at this point, it'll hold itself. I feel like because it is thicker though, you wanna just make sure it's really lined up and spend that extra yes. time. Spend the extra time, don't rush. Like when you said how, which one's faster, I'm, I'm like cringing because these are not speed projects. But could you do it in a weekend? Um, or do you think it's more like You a can if you, if you, yeah, the prep is, I would give yourself like the prep on maybe a Thursday, Friday. That way on Saturday morning, you're starting fresh. And I'm gonna come up in the middle again. Okay, and now you're gonna do the same thing. You're just slowly work, push right over the edge like that and. Okay. This edge is probably the hardest part. This is definitely the hardest part. And you did a great job. Thanks. Teamwork makes the dream work. Yeah, look at how nice that looks. There's no bubbles. It's a nice, it looks like paint. It's It thick. really does. It's. I love this film. This really looks good. Same thing, just work our way down the film. And come out like, and then I'm gonna come down a little bit. Okay, now you're gonna grab yours okay. and work your way back there. A little bit at a time. Okay, that's good right there. So I'm gonna come down again. We're gonna come down another few inches. So weirdly satisfying. It is, it? it is satisfying. <laughs> I, I mean, it really, it's like, I feel like we're like extruding on here. I know. So now we're just coming down to this, yeah, a couple more inches down. It's like an ASMR sort of like. I really like it. It's, it's fun. I feel like now when I'm helping the kids with their Legos, I'm gonna... Here, we're gonna pull this. It's a whole new technique. So here's a little bubble here. I'm just gonna push on it. And see how it shrunk there? I don't know if you caught that, but it, it, it kind of, like if you put a little pressure with the film, you can see it. Yeah. All right, guys, whose side is better? You be the judge. Fantastic. My side or Brian's side? Rap wars. <laughs> now, I will say there's like pros and cons of the Innoza Attack versus the 3M. The Innoza Attack is thicker, so it's it's not going to tear as easy as like the 3M. So that is is really nice. It feels thick, but at the same time, the 3M is stretchier. It's kind of easier to get around the corners, easier to pull. So there's pros and cons of each. I really like the way this one looks, so I'll say better because I feel like it almost gives it like a paint style finish, if that makes sense. So it really, it depends, I think, on the look that you want. I couldn't have said it better. I think this just looks like paint. Mm -hmm. It's got less orange peel than other films. It, it's satisfying when you're mm -hmm. like squeegeeing it on. It turned out really nice. Now we're gonna heat it up. Why don't you take the, the heat gun okay. and you saw what I'm doing. I'm just a couple inches off. The whole surface you have to do that too, okay? okay? So put and does it on. the kit come with the heat gun? Yes, it comes with the heat okay. gun. You then apply heat a few inches off the surface to the panel to remove any residual bubbles. And then use your squeegee to pop it in. And then we're gonna open this front door once you get it popped through. When you heat this up, you're gonna see two things happen. First, the film's gonna curl up like, like a potato chip, and then you keep heating it, and it's gonna go smooth again. When it's smooth again, then I'm gonna use my fingers to roll it. Okay. It's hot, the stainless steel heats up. One of the perks to wrapping it is it's not as sharp anymore when it's wrapped. Definitely won't be able to shave my legs with that. All right, finishing touch, put the window seal back on. Oh yeah. Kind of flops in. Now the opposite with your fingers, you're gonna, yeah, you're gonna pull it. 
What is the easiest and the hardest piece mm. on the side? Good question. So the easiest piece by far is the arch. I mean, it's minutes to get that done. I think that the front fender is fairly easy because most of it on the bottom side is just covered with the fender flare. Mm -hmm. You know, pull it, pry these off, put them back on, just like our videos talk about. The hood and the front of the hood and the tailgate are, they're just pretty straightforward. There's no mm -hmm. body folding. On the back quarter panel here, this is probably the hardest one only because it's so big. Yeah, so you kind of need two people you, probably. Yeah, you can, I mean, I can do it by myself if I start here and I carefully do it. But if mm -hmm. you have two people and somebody's holding the film while somebody's squeegeeing, that makes it easier, but only because of its size, that's it. Mm -hmm. They're really, you did the hard part going over two body folds. And when I say hard, like it's relative, it's not really hard, but I impressive. love it. Did nice it job. actually was easier than I expected it was going to be, honestly. Like, I was a little bit nervous because the nose attack is stiff. I wasn't sure if I would like it or not. Um, I obviously love the way it looks, but it, it wasn't it wasn't that bad. It was actually pretty easy. I feel like people could do this if they just take their time, don't rush it, make sure everything's clean, matched up. All those little steps that seem silly, like make a big deal and if you do that i think you could do it yourself save a ton of money the cyber truck is really the perfect truck to try to do a diy on um and why not just give it a go and i love the idea of just like testing out a couple panels see how you feel if you feel like you could do it yourself first um because that's not a big investment right away you know just try that out first see if you like it and then go for it I can't stop looking at it because I love it so much. I don't know. What do you guys think about the Cybertruck? What do you think of the red? If you have a Cybertruck or if you have one on order or just if you want to dream, what color would you wrap it in if you could do anything? All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. And if you'd like to try your own Cybertruck DIY wrap kit or any of their wheels engineered for Cybertruck, including these fully forged monoblock wheels, just click the link below and you'll get a Kim Java discount code emailed your way. And remember, by using the links down below, you're directly helping to support this channel. And we'll catch you next time. So you asked about the embossing. Yeah. Look at how we oh, put so cool. T-Sport line and Cybertruck font. So what we do is we print our logo and Cybertruck font. We put that vinyl down first and then we wrap over it and it creates this really cool embossed look. Oh, that's awesome. So we can do that with Foundation Series, with the Cyber Beast. You can order this from us and to say anything you want. We have we created the full Cybertruck font. So you could put like Kim Java on the back of this.